Before the video start, please do hit the subscribe buttons for both of my channels. As many people who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please do. A special thanks to Hustle Common Used Car Sales for allowing me to film this car. As of now, the Ford Echo Sport is no longer listed on sale here. Hello there, this is going to be a full in depth tour review of this 2015 Ford Echo Sport in the titanium trim showing exterior, engine, and interior. The exterior colour is smoke grey. The titanium trim comes with keyless entry on this one. And for the interior you have black leather seats, perforation on the sides, on the bolsters and red stitching. Now let's hop in. in. This car has done 35,000 miles. The steering wheel is electric power steering, rack and pinion time, multifunctional. So for accents on the sides. For transmission. You can get a manual or automatic. This one has a 5 speed manual. And this has a mechanical handbrake. So now let's t take a look at the exterior. Turn the lights. I'm going to turn on the side lights. The fog lamp, and then just take a look at the exterior. For the wheels, this has 17 inch 5 spur alloy rims, 4 lugs, they're wrapped in Ken tyres, these are 2055D R17 tyres you can see. This car has halogen reflector headlights and front fog lights. In my normally in my full tour reviews this is gonna be a full tour of this car. I would explain the background history of this model but due to the awkward position of how the car's part I'm just gonna show you around the exterior off by heart. This is the front end of the car as you can see. I'm not quite a fan of the front end you do have LED daytime winning lights the front is not that attractive. So the Echo Sport is based on the old Fiesta. They have a new Esh Compact B segment crossover Esh which is a Puma, which is based on the new Fiesta. This is based on old platform. And the side profile, I do like the rear quarter window has it has connected to the rear windscreen. Got roof rails as well around the rear. You got rear lights. With bumper, we have parking sensors. This is 2050 model year. 2060 model year did not have a spare tire, and did delete the spare tire due to the sl low slow sales. And without this spare wheel, well, I think the rear looks slightly more attractive. I can show you that now. Around the rear, you do have LED rear. You got rear lights. They're not LED rear lights. Rear reflectors. They, you have a swing back tailgate on this one. The parking sensors and down below. Yes. I, and also I can show you the fuel flap here. It's a diesel. So the Echo Sport was First came went on sale in Euro in UK in 2014 and had to facelift for the 2018 model year. So it's, it's been around for now six years. It's getting out of date now, so it needs to be killed off. Well, it is very heavy on this one. Under the bonnet is a 1.5 litre dual torque TDCI inline 4 16 valve turbocharged diesel engine which is Euro 6 compliant and has a diesel particular filter. 
This engine produces 90 horsepower and 205 newton meters of torque. The Ecosport diesel is such a snow with a top speed of just under 100 miles per hour and a 0 to 100 km per hour or 0 to 62 miles per hour time in 14 seconds. The Ecosport has a 52 litre fuel tank and all UK spec for Ecosports are front wheel drive. On the front door trim you have hard plastic on the top, that's leather, I think these are some plush soft material in the centre, hard plastic there. At the bottom you have more hard plastics. Yeah we're under control, all of them are automatic in both. The driver's side is, has automatic down and up from trim window lock, mirror controls, door handles, door pocket for the driving cup holder, to the right of the Doing well, Colin, you do have the adjustment to adjust the level of your headlights as you can see. Light switch, rear fog lamp, automatic lights, and this one lets put it back in auto. You do also have storage for the driver, a little bit of storage for the driver. In, to put some notes or some cash inside here. Bonnet release, manual transmission, free pedals. Driver's seat in this car has four manual adjustments. I forgot to show seat this, there are storage drawers under the front seat. By the way, this car has six airbags. If, I, if I'm wrong, I'll put it down in the caption now. Let's take a good look at the interior, shall we? The steering wheel has manual tilt only adjustment, no telescope adjustment for this one, unlike the Fiesta that it's based on, as you can see. How annoying is that? But let's go back on the steering wheel. You, on the steering wheel, on the white spot you have cruise control, left bit you have your older controls, volume, seat trap, Bluetooth on, hook and offer, and your voice control. White store you do have your wiper controls, and left store you do have your indicator. Take and your trip meter. There's no key detected. This has keyless entry, keyless start, by the way, as you can see, in conjunction with keyless entry. That's your trip meter. It's an odometer. You've got analog dials, very simple gauges, nothing wide buff. The Ecosport Titanium comes to standard with single zone automatic clamp control. Fan speed on the left with your automatic mode, temperature on the right with your AC, different zones including your maximum front defrost for circulation with your defrost off button. They're quite simple to use. I like the sound of how it, of the button it makes. Here's some ASMR. Audio head unit, you have four sync DAB. The sound provided with four speakers and two tweeters. Let's test the sound quality. How about that then? Sounds does not it sounds not bad. The sound quality is not that bad. It sounds decent, good enough decent enough. Right here, this is your screen. I think it's measured three and a half inch screen. That's your main menus, these just correspond, these main menus correspond to these buttons right here. You do have your seat the player right above, review jet, info, your CD, radio, auxiliary, Bluetooth telephone menu buttons, up, down, left and right, own coach, button seat track, volume power knob, Bluetooth telephone with your, you have your sound settings. These four shortcut buttons correspond to these, four buttons correspond to these four menus there. Use the system, radio, CD, auxiliary if there's one, you have to insert a device, phone, your Bluetooth telephone menu, as you can see. You can you can have Bluetooth audio streaming on this one, and you have your 
menu of your Ford Sync settings. Ford Sync apps. Audio setting, clock setting, display settings. Back to the radio. We've got the sound settings as you can see. It's very, and you can bring up your list of radio stations in the area. Let's forget this. The system is very complicated to use with all these clutter cl buttons and it's and it's distracting for the driver it's not simple it's not a simple audio that you need to navigate through but I do like the blue LCD display the four pixel display you have your hazard light switch and central locking passenger airbag indicator your echo sport banding down below behind the gear lever you do have usb and auxiliary input as well as the 12 volt power outlet you do have a little bit of storage um you have a leather wrap handbrake on this one i forgot to mention at the beginning two cut holders and a cut holder for the rear to share between the front and rear accounts you do have manual lumbar support for the driver you do have a centre for an armrest for the driver, for a place for him to lean on. By the way, as I can't get around the left side of the car, I don't want to bother the showroom to move the car, as I wouldn't be able to, to get them to move the car for me to make this review. The passenger seat has the same adjustment as the driver's seat except for the seat height and the manual lumbar you do have a storage pocket there the lip box is of a large is of a large size it's, it's large enough to put your put a few books inside there manual auto dim rear view mirror map lights as you can see you have a sunglass holder, it's padded as well. You have a passenger side, side sun visor and also you drive side sun visor with a vanity mirror. The passenger side has a light too, there's no grip handles there. To sum up the Ford Echo Sports interior, the seats um, may not be the comfortable, but they're not bad to sit in. You do have a front and front armrest for the driver, but unfortunately, no armrest for the passenger. The materials, as you expect from a car this class, you expect a lot of hard plastic there. The controls are simple to use, like the gauges, light switch, AC controls, and you. Oh, oh, but, and you also you do have plenty of storage areas but what I don't like about the interior is the, in, the audio head unit it's, it's a, there's a lot of clutter here and it's distracting for the driver's eye but overall it's a simple interior except for the audio head unit now let's take a look at the rear seats The rear doors have the same materials as the front. You do have a cup holder for the rear occupants. Isofix charge seat and compliance on both sides. The rear seats, you do have a 12 volt power outlet on either side. The rear seats do fold, fold if you want more space. You can pull the strap here and then fold it down. And then they do also They also tumble, I think. 
but yeah. I don't know how to fold them down, but I don't. But let's get back onto the review. Close this door. For space, I've got, if I sit back there, I've got a little bit of knee room. And for head space, head room, I've got, a, I've got a generous amount of knee head room. Six footers will feel cramped back here. The seats are not bad to sit in. You do have a storage pocket on either side. You do have a low transmission floor. There's no armrest on this one. You have a rear light, a rear map light, rear quarter windows. There's no grip handles in this car at all, as you can see. Now let's take a look at the interior. To open up the boot, no, normally most cars which have that have swing about tailgates open open like this, but on the Echo Sport it, it opens the opposite way like that, and you just have to use the touchpad on the rear light right side of the housing to open it up. This is the boot, as you can see. You have a rear tornado cover. Down below, your tool kit down below, tether points. And you can fold down, you do have, you can fold down the rear seats from here, but I don't know how to tumble them, so I'm not going to demonstrate. You do have light, lighting for the rear, uh, some hooks on either side. Now let's close the boot. I'm going to end the video here. This is the end of the video now. Like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're interested and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you're alerted whenever I upload a new video in the future. Stay alert, control the virus and save lives.